When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, the University of Arizona rarely offers a college or a high school sophomore. University of Arizona rarely offers a local kid. Sean Miller did both on Tuesday, offering a scholarship to Majuk Dang at South Point Catholic High School. He's a six foot six inch sophomore, a guy who uh, the recruiting sites really love. Uh, have you had a chance to see him play, and what do you make of him? I did see him play once, and I'm going to. I'm going to go to his game uh, Friday night in Sierra Vista. They play Buena, probably the game of the year so far in high school basketball here. Buena won 18 straight games. Wow. Ranked number one in 5A. Wow. South Point's, I believe, number four in 4A. Okay. So I really want to see him in that setting. Yeah. He is a guy who, because it's so tricky when, when you talk about recruiting local kids. I mean, Lute Olson had this great story that, you know, basically yeah. said the worst thing you can do is recruit a local kid, sign him, and then put him at the end of the bench because then you've got his mom, his dad, everybody he went to high school with, uh, you notice when a local kid isn't playing. Um, to me, that means if you're going to recruit a local kid, he better have superstar potential. And Sean Miller clearly sees it here in Majuk Dan. Oh, yeah. He, he also offered Mitch Lightfoot, mm -hmm. although Lightfoot had transferred by then from Ironwood Ridge to Phoenix. Right. So be, before that, it was Deron Johnson at Sunnyside mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Sean Elliott right. at Shoya. Right. That's it. That is Going back good. to 1981. That's... That's incredible, and it must mean that Miller sees something. Now, we talk about sort of having a, a courtside or front row seat to Dang's development, something that people do not harp on enough, is Dang plays with a point guard at South Point Catholic by the name of Cameron Miller, yeah. Sean Miller's son. Leads you to believe that Sean Miller has watched every second oh, yeah. Majuk Dang has played the last two years. And in addition to that, Majuk Dang played in 60 AAU games at a high level mm -hmm. this summer. That's two high school seasons. So he's not really a sophomore, is he? No, no. Well, and we can talk about this. Greg, you had a, a great column that ran in Wednesday's paper uh, about the new um, documentary available on Netflix that profiles, among other things, Gabe York and Parker Jackson Cartwright as they uh, were high school kids uh, in the AAU circuit. Uh, high school basketball is almost irrelevant in terms of college prospects now, isn't it? Oh, and that's, that's what that next Netflix movie talks about. Uh -huh. It says, really, mm -hmm. irrelevant. It's, it's crazy. Did, were your eyes opened a little bit to that? Yeah, and it wasn't a good eye-opening either. Really? It was a slimy eye-opening. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, basketball recruiting has uh, long been a uh, sort of a, a swallow-hard uh, kind of place. As someone from my generation who grew up with high school basketball, where your coach was your mentor and a guy who was so important in your life, mm -hmm. I'm going to really enjoy watching South Point play Buena because they're going to have almost 3,000 people at the Buena Gym. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like the old days with right. Majuk Den coming to town. Right. It's going to be big time. Right. And, and Buena is, again, as well coached a local team as there is. Oh, yeah. Dave Glasgow has been there forever and does a yeah. great job. Big time. They could win the state championship this year and next year. Wow. They think they've got one contributing senior. Wow. That's incredible. Greg, real quick before we go, Arizona opens home Pac-12 play here this weekend, Utah and Colorado. What do you think happens? <clears throat> Utah is really good. Okay. People are sleeping on him. David Colette, a 6'8 transfer from my school, Utah is State. a yeah. big time player. Mm -hmm. And they have a new player from SMU who's just active at the semester break. Um, I think it'll go to the wire. Mm -hmm. And then I think Arizona will, will grind out a win over Colorado. Wow. Should be a fun weekend of basketball at McHale Center. Uh, pour yourself a pot of coffee. Both games are late, deadlines are tight. You ready? <laughs> Ready. Ready. All right. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook. Brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, I'm glad you corrected me on Majuk instead of Majak. I was saying Majak. His brother's name, Leek. Awesome. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.